Yo guys, what is going on? Blossoms back and welcome back to another episode of South Drives. Very special one actually because uh, our friends over at Tier Maker has released a brand new feature called like live brackets or, or live Tier Maker Live. I think that's what they called it. So basically what happens is that everyone watching, you guys watching the video right now, you can participate in this tier list. And we can see what the community thinks about unawarded prize cars and us as a whole, Top Drives community as a whole, right? Like, what are the prize cars that we want to look forward to the most and the ones that we want to look forward to the least? Um, and how, how I came across Tier Maker Live was really interesting, actually. So let me show you why. So I found one of these uh, female cartoon hotties, as they call it. As you can see, there are over 1,000 participants and over 92,000 votes. And yeah, literally, I, I would like to see the prize car tier list look like something like this. So let, like, obviously not 1,000 participants. That would be pretty cool though. But it would be nice to see what are the prize cars that people are looking for the most. And there is one issue that I need to address. The community believes that Mrs. Incredible is the only one that deserves to be an S+. I disagree with that. Mrs. Incredible is pretty incredible. But like, if, you, if I was going to leave one person to S+, it's got to be Shigo. Like, it, it, no question has to be Shiko. I know some people out there are probably gonna go for like Raven or maybe even like Mulan, but like, nah, it's Shiko. So like, I don't know, man, but yeah, you can go find this too if you want to, uh, but the main thing is gonna be the unawarded prize card, so let's get back to that. So as you can see, I've already voted for three cards because there were some like technical issues. So hopefully it works now, because like when I want to submit the vote, sometimes it'll say like error, like I can't submit my vote. So let's give it a try. Um, these are all genuine, like it's whatever for the fee. Uh, the, and the uh, barf like I don't really care if we get those cars or not the Hudson Hornet's a little bit more interesting for myself because it's an American car and I'm an American collector it would be rated higher if it was the actual 1952 model that was featured uh in cars and Disney Pixar cars but it's not it's the one that came afterwards uh so anyway the next one's a Fiat or a barf whatever you want to call it the 1000 Monoposto record car again you know it's it's just it's just whatever so hopefully it works hopefully there's no error yes it's working that's good that's good that's good so as always guys if you want to play along you want to vote link to this tier list will be in the description below uh, to see what the average are going to be looking like at the end of the week. This this link is going to be live for about a week. Next up is the Buforia MK2 2 plus 2 Merdeka edition. Again, it's just whatever, in my opinion. Um, a lot of these prize cars, like especially the lower rarity ones, they need to be something really special for me to, to rate it a little higher. And uh, speaking about that, the DMC DeLorean, I'll give it an honest shot, honestly. I mean, like, again, an honest shot because I, I named the tiers to be more geared to Towards epic and legendary prize cars. I'm pretty sure I don't need an honest shot at a DMC DeLorean. I'm pretty sure if you want to get an uncommon prize car, you can just shoot blindfold and you would probably still get it. Uh, next up is a Ford Transit SSV. I am not a fan of any of the vans, whether it's the Super Van 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm not a fan of any of them. Uh, so they're, most of them are probably going to end up in hot garbage, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, this time, you don't even need to comment down below if you disagree with my votings or not. You can just, you know, do the thing yourself and just rate it differently and see what the averages are going to be at the end of it. Uh, Skoda, 1100 CHC. Again, is it a prize car I'm really looking forward to? It looks like something where it might have like an outlier for top speed and it might be a great uncommon testable car. That's what it looks like. But the top speed is 124. I think it's going to bring no value and I don't care about it at all. The Mazda MX-5 20th anniversary. RQ23, 79 handling. When I, I envision when I own this car, it's going to be about 87 handling fully upgraded. For an uncommon, like, it's not it's not too bad, you know? Um, it's 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 just, yeah, it's it's okay. <laughs> Contemplating competition, sure, it's mid. Um, the Mitsubishi FTO, I actually kind of like give an honest shot. I don't know why. I like FTOs. I think FTOs are pretty cool. It's the same thing for the, the Vision Rally art. It, it looks pretty cool, you know? Um, Four-wheel drive, 85 handling when you max it out. I think it'll be a pretty decent uncommon. I'll give it an honest shot. I'll give it like the second highest tier, honestly. The the the, the Talbot though, like okay, seriously, why is that a prize car? Someone tell me the significance of whatever that thing is. The Talbot, the Talibot, whatever it is. Mazda 2 Evil Track. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Yeah, I mean there's no other place to put it but pay to win all in. I mean when you max that baby out. That's 93 handling for an uncommon. That is the highest handling uncommon in the game. Like for that alone, like I want to get it. So whenever that wants to get released, like I'll take it with open arms. It might be even a, uh, it might even be a car that you might 
think about 2 3 3 in some circumstances, but I think for that 0 to 60, 3 2 3 is probably always the way to go. Uh, AMC, Rebel Machine. Yeah, dude. Um, that, it's, it's a weird one, that one. It's It's been a prize card for such a long time, but like... <laughs> <laughs> it's never been released, and I don't know why. Like, I understand why they're not releasing, like, the Kobo Camaros and stuff, because they're just scared that they'll break the game. But the AMC Rebel Machine just sitting there for the, like, longest time ever is so strange to me. Like, it's not going to make any impact if you if you let it out or not. Um, but there are already cars, like the Radical, for example, coming out in updates that came out, you know, after the AMC, and they've already been released. And the AMC is kind of just sitting there in the background. Like, that's just really interesting, in my opinion. The Ford Supervan is next. Again, like I said, like, I'm not interested in any of these Supervans. But looking at it again, 36, you know, RQ, a rare, 86 handling when you max it out isn't the worst thing in the world. But then again, not too interested about it. Uh, it's it's just whatever, in my opinion. Like, I'll, I'll get it. I probably won't use it too much. The, the IMAX 5 Le Mans looks pretty nice, though. 90 handling when you max it out. There are ultra rares, not ultra rares, but rares out there that do handle better, though. Opal GT at 94. Um, Opal Manta at 92. Um, so, like, you know, 90 isn't the best number, but it looks really cool. I love the 787B livery on it. So, I'm going to give it an honest shot. Like, I wouldn't mind having it in my collection. Uh, moving on to the next one, we're once to load the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR kind of speaks for itself. Definitely want to get that whenever I can. Uh, electric pace setter. I feel like we see, we've seen this car so many times. There's so many times for this car on Top Drive Records already because of previous challenges it's shown up in, but like they never gave it to us to win. Um, it'll handle well. I mean, it handles better than the MX-5, but like, I don't really like the car. It's useful, but I don't really like the car. So like, I'm gonna say average. Like, I don't want it, but I kind of need it, you know? The Ford Transit, Jesus, I don't care. Like, I don't, why there's so, like, why are there, I feel like there's so many vans that are just locked away in the prize car territory. Is it because like, oh, a performance van is such an interesting quirk that it has to be a prize car? Like, I don't understand. I don't care. I don't care about the drift bus either. Um, the Hyundai Veloster Rally Edition, again, like, whatever, man. It's 85 handling set of tires, real drive, whatever. Um, MX-5, I love the picture. So, for, for literally off the photo bias alone, I'm going to rate it higher than the Veloster. I know that the Veloster is probably going to bring, well, not probably, it's definitely going to bring better performance. But, like, this is my personal opinion, and the car just looks cooler. Mitsubishi Triton Rally Yard, AXCR. Ooh. That's an interesting one. Four-wheel drive, off-road tires, 75 handling, so when you max it out, it should be about 83. Ain't too bad. An honest shot. I mean, definitely will max it out if I get it. That could be another way to think about it, right? Like, you know, for the lower rarity stuff, if it falls in the first two ranks, I will max them when I get them. Uh, but for, you know, the rest of the other stuff, probably not. I mean, the uncommons, yeah, they're not that expensive anyway. Uh, Peugeot RC Spades, couldn't care less. I mean, I couldn't care less about the diamonds that came out. I still have that sitting stock in my garage. It's gonna be the same there. Oh, moving on to Ultra is now Alpha 159 Alfetta. Yes, sir, I'll take that. If, I mean, if the MRA is as good as the other stuff, that has to be great. Oh, that was a mistake. I did not mean to put that in hot garbage. Can I move that? Can I, I can't move that. There's, there's no, okay, so that's, that's one thing I've realized. I don't think you can actually go back. I actually meant to put that in like, pay to win all in. Um, oops. Uh, this is one I would say an honest shot. And the only reason why I care about the 159 Alfetta, which I wrongly rated, uh, the only reason why I put it higher is because I, I prefer the photo. The photo on that is, is gorgeous. Um, yeah, that's a mistake. I wish I could move this. I can't, it's just stuck there, oops. Um, the Ford F100 Illuminator. I watched a video about this. I think it was like Mark Marquez, Marquez Brownlee, whatever his name is. Like he, he reviewed this and I mean, I'm not a fan of electric cars and stuff like that, but like, I, I like the homage it's paying to. Right? It's, a, it's a classic resto mod, right? And like, it's basically just a, a Mach-E, but like not ugly, right? Because the Mach-E is just disgusting. So like, it's all right. And also, I'm, a, I'm an American collector. I'm just gonna give it average. Like, I'm definitely gonna max it out and stuff, but I'm just gonna duck some points for it just because it's electric. Yes, I'm gonna be that guy. Uh, Ford Ranger Rally Raid. Ooh, 74, max it baby out. That's what, 81, 82 handling probably? Four wheel drive off-road tires. Not too bad, especially considering that it's an ultra it's easy to upgrade yeah, and on a shot for sure. Uh, Mitsubishi Delica D5 Rally. 77 handling, four wheel drive off road. I mean, definitely not a car that I would love to keep just because I want it. So I'm like gauging at how useful it might be if I have it in my garage. And the answer is not really. 77 handling is kind of garbage. It's whatever, honestly, it's whatever. I'll max it out, but I don't think it'll bring me a lot of value. Uh, Nissan Primera, EGT, hell yeah, dude, 100 handling, for ultra rear, like saloon, for all drive, yeah, dude, bring that out. 
Audi Auto Union, I mean, with a top speed like that, that's going to be a really interesting testable car, isn't it? Um, but it is a GRE at the end of the day. Probably not going to be a car that I'll be maxing out anytime soon. It's whatever. Um, Citroen CLE steering car. Yes, sir. Pay to win all in. I mean, that's the best front-wheel drive car in the game. Uh, Epic and below, I think. Uh, only behind the legendary Nissan GTR LM. Uh, now, moving on is the Citroen ZX Rally Raid. 85 handling four-wheel drive off-road. Probably high ground clearance. Not too sure on the top of my head. Contemplating competition. There, there are better options out there. Oh, that's easy. The Challenger? Dude, obviously the Challenger's gonna be pay to win all in. Uh, M150 Raptor R? I'm gonna say, I don't want a shot. I mean, like, I love the photo. It's not gonna bring a lot of value, I think, in terms of, like, handling. It's only gonna go up to 79. 0 to 60 is good, though. Same 0 to 60 as a Hellcat. <laughs> uh, the OG Hellcat. And then one with 707 horsepower, so that's also interesting. I mean, if you max that out, <laughs> try to expect that. It might be 2.9, actually. So I want to know how good the thing's going to be. Here's the Mackie, EGT. Um, Four-wheel drive, 89 handling, low 0 to 60. It's definitely going to be a useful car. I think it's going to be one of the one of the better four-wheel drive epics that are like mid-epic RQ and below. Uh, but that's about it. Um, not the worst thing in the world, but definitely not something I'm definitely going to want to get. Uh, Ford Supervan 2. Again, like I said, the super vans. I'm not really interested in the super vans, so I'm gonna, it's, it's whatever, dude. 94 handling, 3.40, it's, it's 3.494. Like, that has the same stats as like a, a campaign Camaro. Uh, Ford Superman 3, again, I don't, I don't care, I, like, I, mean, I know there's a, uh, a cult following around those cars, it's just not for me. Uh, Skoda Octavia, 227 for a top speed, I mean, they gotta release this before the Auto Union, right? I mean, if the Auto Union stays at 269 for a top speed, then I would assume that the Skoda Octavia should come out first, and then the, and then the, the, the Auto Union comes later, or Union. Um, but again, you know, just not much of a thing for me. Uh, useful, maybe. Uh, Lanza Delta is a must-have. I know it is the same handling. I know it is the same handling as the C Citroen ZX, but the Lanza Delta, in my opinion, I just like it more. You know, this is like a really personal list. I'm not telling you what I think is the best car that you should get uh, for the unawarded prizes and stuff. This is my personal opinion. And that's why you can vote in it too for your personal opinion. Lincoln MKZ Black Label. Cool car. Not gonna be useful for me. 85 handling four drive standard. Um, just CT6 but worse. And that's what the Lincolns are. So, contemplating uh, competition. It is what it is. Mazda 323. I'm gonna put that in an honest shot. Not as cool as a Delta in my eyes, but I love that photo. Now, the next two ones are gonna be the saloons, I believe. And I freaking love them. So, yeah, the Mitsubishi uh, Evolution. Uh, I want that. Next one is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 2 Group A. Definitely want that too. I'm not even looking at the stats. I just want them as cars. They're so cool, dude. They're so freaking cool. Mitsubishi Pajero, Evolution MPR 13. This one, since I'm not a fan of it as a car, I look at the stats. 83 handling, four wheel drive, off road, just meh. I'm contemplating competition, in my opinion. Nissan Leaf Nismo, I'm gonna give it like an honest shot. Like, it's a car that I'm not really interested about, but I understand the amount of value that it brings when you have it because the stats are so good. Um, Audi R18. Oy. I mean, this one's coming out next, right? This one's literally coming out next after the Colonia. The Colonia is pay to win all in. I want to get the Colony, trust me, I want to get the Colony. Audi R18 though, I think it's an honest shot. Because like, if it's all in, I'll go for the Porsche 919 Hybrid, which we'll see later. Um, Automobile Pininfarina Batista. I love how they look and they remind me of the Ferrari SF90s. But like, you know, it's, it's four wheel drive, it's performance tires. Uh, handling sucks on those cars. Top speed isn't the level of Koenigsegg. We don't know what the MRA is going to be. The, the, the strongest thing about the automobile Pininfarinas are the 0-60. to 60. So if the MRA is really good, like Koenigsegg MRA, it will probably beat the Koenigseggs or maybe be equal to the Koenigseggs. Well, with that RQ, you want it to beat the Koenigseggs, right? Uh, or a Hennessy Venom F5 or something like that. You want to beat it on at least quarter mile and, 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 and half mile. They're definitely not winning on the one miles because that 0-60 to 60 of 217, I mean, the top speed of 217 probably isn't that high uh, compared to things like Koenigseggs and even the Hennessy's. Um, yeah, it's it's a good looking car. It's a good like I'll give it an honest shot. I'll give it an honest shot. I think the next one's another Batista. Yes, uh, yeah, both of them honest shots. Both of them honest shots. Uh, Brabham BT62, contemplate the competition. You know, it is what it is. Same with this Bugatti. Don't like how it looks, so I'm just gonna skip through that. The Devo I actually quite like. The thing is, right? I also like the looks of the La Vontenoy, whatever it's called, the black one. Um, but like, I didn't like it enough where I was going to break the bank and try and get it. And for those of you that know, I didn't even get it. Like I didn't win it and I didn't really care in the end. Um, even though I liked how it looked, I like how this looks. And it's kind of like, like, it's kind of the same situation. It's like, you know, if I don't win it, 
it's not really that big of a deal. I'll give it an honest shot, but like I'm not gonna break the bank to try and get it. Like it's a cool car. Couple Camaro, I mean, yeah, I could put it at pay to win all in. I don't think it'll ever come out though. Um, same thing, I put all the drags there, the Mustang included as well. I'm not sure if that comes next. Uh, oh, that thing? No, that thing's garbage, bro. I don't give a shit about the Citroen 1990. Why is that even a prize car, dude? It looks disgusting. Citroen C4 WRC. I mean, yeah, an honest shot. If it's four-wheel drive, off-road tires, and handles pretty damn well, I'm always gonna give it an honest shot. Um, uh, Citroen DS3, it's the same story. Like, I don't like them as cars, right? Like, they're not gonna be pay to win all in because I don't love them. I don't have any, like, you know, emotional con, uh, connections to these cars. But, like, I know that they're really useful. So, I'm just gonna put all of them in on a shot. Actually, I, I would've put in these in Zantia down one because I assumed that it off-road tires, but I had a second look, all surface. So, I actually don't really care if it's all surface. Uh, Mach-E prototype. I don't care. I don't care. Ford Mustang Cobra. I care. There you go. Um, next up, if this thing is gonna load, Ford RS200 Group. Dude, I really wanted this, dude. Remember when this had like 90 handling and then they nerfed it before they even released it? Um, 81. I mean, it's kind of mid now. I'll just give it an honest shot with all the other off-road tire cars and the one all surface tire car that I mistakenly judged. Ford Supervan 4. Yeah, don't want that. I don't care. It's disgusting. I hate it. Hyundai Veloster Rally Car. All surface tires. Not that interested. See, this this, and the Citroën Xenia is where I would have put them together. But, like, I, I, I assume that that are off-road tires. So that's why it's there. And I can't move it. I wish I could. Um, the Fabio looks pretty good, though. I'm actually going to put that in all in. I mean, as long as it stays at 90 handling, like, that's going to be cream of the crop for me. Can I say Gamera, um, HV8? And on a shot, like, I like it. I like it. Um, 767B, it's whatever. Uh, Mazda RC24, it's whatever. Uh, RX Vision, again, it's also whatever. I never cared about any of the Mazdas. The, the, the McMurdy, McMurdy, whatever it is, like, it's, it's good, but, like, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, like, obviously, it would be dumb to not give it an honest shot, because that might be the next best thing in the entire game. So, yeah, but I just don't care about it as a car. The Lancer Evolution 10 MR FQ440. I'm a saloon collector, so I'm all for it, honestly. Medium ground clearance, handles well. Mitsubishi Lancer WRC05. I am a fan of the Lancer rallies, so like, yes. Uh, Mitsubishi MIEV Evolution 2. Um, eh. <laughs> Super light, yes. I mean, those two cars are just kind of eh. Like, they're, I have no connection to that type of car. It doesn't look like a car. It looks like a go-kart. Uh, Radical RXC is the same story. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if the orange one or the blue one is better. Let's have a look. I want the one that's better, um, so I'm gonna go with this, that as the mid-tier, and this is the slightly higher tier, because it handles better and has a lower 0 to 60. Remac E-Runner, I don't care that much. Again, only ranking it really high just because it could be really good. Don't care about that, it's 84 handling for just standard. Uh, and the Zenvos, look, the thing about the Zenvos is that they have really gorgeous photos. But that's it, right? Like, they have really nice photos. Their stats, they could be good. 2.494, 2.291. Actually, I just realized something. Where is the Porsche 919? Did I not add the Porsche? Well, of course, if the 919 was here, it'd be paid to win all in. I would put the Zenvo Aurora Agil, Agile, maybe. i pay to win all in just because it handles a little better. 104 when you max it out. The Aurora Tur, though, I feel like it's just... It's it's kind of overrated because it's four-wheel drive. We know this. We know this is this is common hutch knowledge, right? Like if it's four-wheel drive, it's just gonna have higher tops, uh, higher RQ, mid, mid. I'm just gonna give it mid. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be my <laughs> my ranking of all the unawarded prize cars, excluding the Porsche 919. I don't know why I did not save that. Um, but yeah, that's that's my list. Honestly, 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 right? If this was a super honest tier list, I would put like one rank above and that's only for the Challenger because <laughs> the Challenger is heads above heels what I want over anything else. But anyway, guys, if you want to play along, you know, check out average rating, check out total results. Um, yeah, we'll be, it'll be pretty interesting to see what you guys are rating these cars as well. But anyway, link in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, wash your hands and blossom out. Peace.
Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair 